is given everything that it needs to get. Oh, it's from Super Goo. No basic song. She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did have a Zen, 13 hours till I land. Had me out like a light, like a light, like a light. Slept through the flight, not for the night. 767 minutes, she got double bedroom, and I still got sports to settle, man. I crept down the block, made a right, yeah. Cut the lights, pay the price, yeah. Niggas think it's sweet, it's on sight, yeah. Nothing nice, Vegas in my eyes, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. Checks over stripes, yeah. That's what I like, yeah. That's what we like, yeah. Lost my respect, not a threat. When I shoot my shot, that shit wetty like I'm Shex. See the shots that I took, wet like I'm fucked. Wet like on Lizzy, I'll be spinning lolly circle blocks till I'm busy. Like where is he? No one's seen him. Tryna clean him. She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Now I hey, welcome and welcome back to another day in the Stush Life. So today is currently Wednesday. You guys saw me go to Trader Joe's. I'm about to show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's soon. But before we start this vlog off, before we start this vlog off, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe down below. I gotta say it in every video because I know we might have some newcomers. We might have some newcomers or some people that have been watching but still haven't subscribed. Make sure you also leave your girl a thumbs up if you've been enjoying my vlogs. And also follow me on Instagram at the Stush Life. So, I didn't intro the vlog earlier when I was going to Trader Joe's because I was kind of in a crunch. My mom left for London today to visit her mom. My grandma does live in London and her birthday, my mom's birthday is also on Friday. So, I needed to bring her to the airport after Trader Joe's. So, I kind of needed to run in and out. Hello? No, I know. I'm recording the intro. That's why, but I hear you. All right. Love you. Have a safe flight. I literally just got off the phone with her. So, I'm sorry. I don't even remember what I was saying. I had to manage my time properly because I needed to go to Lawrence Mont, which is maybe like 20 minutes from my house, um, do my food shopping, come back to the Bronx, get my mom's stuff ready, put it in the car, and then drive to the airport, which is like, a, it was like a good hour commute today because we went during the rush hour time. So, I figured I'd just you know start the vlog intro the vlog once i got back home so hey i'm home and i'm entering the vlog so yeah um today's been very weird i mean this whole week has been very weird my energy is very off i'm really trying for today's video but whenever i record my vlogs i'm usually in a better spirit but recording my sit down videos today was very very hard mercury retrograde is really chewing me alive okay she's eating me up Comment down below if you've been experiencing just like mood swings and just the whole nine. Um, and let me know if things just haven't been going your way. But I just want to let you guys know what's been going on. Um, before I go downstairs and show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's because I did pick up a lot of new stuff. Um, I am wearing my hair in this little bun. It's kind of cute. Um, this is my headband wig. My kinky curly. My kinky straight headband wig. And I just put a headband on from 7 Mia. Yeah, I know I stay repping 7 Mia. Even though I don't make this headband look all that great. Because, you know, we have it in a sloppy bun. But yeah, my headband wig is coming from Amazon. But I'll meet you guys downstairs. Let me show you guys what I picked up from Trader Joe's. Okay. Hey, we're in my kitchen. Um, so there were a lot of fall inspired items at Trader Joe's. I didn't get a lot of them because I don't, like I like pumpkin but i'm not a piece pumpkin spice gal where everything needs to be pumpkin spice like i'm just not like that but i did get a few fall inspired winter inspired items um but first let me share the new items that i picked up then i'll share like the new fall inspired stuff okay so i picked up these chicken tikka samosas from trader joe's of course trader joe's all duh um i saw zay rave about these so i figured i'd try them 
most likely gonna put them in my air fryer. This one is filled with chicken, vegetables, and Indian spices, and it's wrapped in a crispy and flaky pastry. So kind of like some phyllo dough. It was my first time seeing the shrimp tikka masala with cumin rice. I love me some cumin. So I picked this up to give it a try. It is shrimp in a mildly spicy tomato sauce. So I'll most likely bring one of these with me to lunch whenever I go to work and just heat it up in the microwave and see how it is. I'm most excited to try these because this picture looks really good. Like presentation, beautiful. Of course, it's probably not gonna look like that when I open it, but I like how they presented it in the pack on the packaging. Another Zay recommendation: this is the butter chicken with basmati rice. I also love me some basmati rice. I love basmati rice, jasmine rice, um, cilantro lime rice. I like that too, even though that's not Indian. The butter chicken looked really good as well, so I'll definitely keep you guys updated. This will most likely be a work lunch meal as well. Okay, fall inspired things. I got this butternut squash mac and cheese. It is Mezzi rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of gouda, cheddar, and parmesan cheese. At first I thought it was just butternut squash that they were using to make the sauce, but once I saw that cheese was involved, I was like, okay, I could probably get jiggy with it. I like butternut squash, but I like it as a vegetable then blended in and mixed in to create a sauce, if that makes sense. But I saw that cheese was used to help create the sauce, so I think this will be good. Probably will be a work lunch meal as well. I'll keep you updated. I also got this organic Vermont maple syrup. It's bourbon barrel aged. That's what she looks like. If you've been, I think that was my last vlog. I've low-key been obsessed with the Target Belgian waffles. I just pop them in the toaster and warm them up before going to work. That's kind of been like my quick breakfast. So I figured I'd pick up the syrup from Trader Joe's to give it a try along with the waffles. So that's what I got. I love maple syrup. I used to be a Mrs. Buttersworth gal, a Aunt Jemima gal. To my high fructose corn syrup. The ingredients for this is organic bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. That's it. That's it. None more, none less. No high fructose corn syrup, no corn oil, no none of that extra stuff. Now these, I don't know if this is a holiday exclusive. I think it is because it said going fast for the fall or whatever. It was like ticketed going fast. But they look really good, so I picked it up. They are the cinnamon cookies, soft baked cinnamon and brown sugar cookies, sandwich sandwiching a cinnamon bun flavored cream filling. I low-key want to open this up right now, but I'm going to wait until I eat my dinner because I don't want to spoil my appetite. These look really good. The next thing that I got were these almond windmill cookies. They're buttery and tender cookies topped with crunchy almonds. Never tried these before. I'm very excited to see how they taste. Look at that. I don't know if you could tell, but there are you do have the almond topping on the cookies. These sound like they're gonna be really good. I hope they do have that almondy taste because I really love almond cookies. And the last thing that I got that was new were these. They're the organic roasted teriyaki seaweed snacks. Hold up, where's my lighting? Mm -hmm. Bring it back. I've already had one container of this. Oh, is this salt? Wait, is this more seasoning? What is this? Oh no, this is silica gel. Okay, that's weird that they put that in here. Never seen that in a food product before. Okay, so update on these. Definitely, I feel like these are an acquired taste. Like, I like seaweed, mostly like in my sushi roll, like wrapping my sushi roll. I don't hate them. And I think it's because I haven't really acquired to take the taste for dry seaweed. I'll still eat them. Like, they taste good. Like, you get that, you know, that tangy, sweet taste from the, from the teriyaki. But I don't know, they haven't really grown on me. So I see Zay eat like the whole six pack of these in one sitting. You can easily eat it all in one sitting because you only get like five or six in this little container. And they're really, really thin. They're like paper thin. But I don't know, I have to update you guys on them. I don't hate them and I don't love them, but I really think that it's an acquired taste. I'm not used to really eating dried seaweed. I'm more, I mostly have it rolled into my sushi. So that's really it that I got from Trader Joe's. I got all my normal stuff like my shrimp gyozas and my um, penne arrabbiata pasta and my sweet potato fries and my chicken wings and stuff like that. But these are the new stuff. So I think the items that I'm most excited to try includes the shrimp tikka masala, the butternut squash mac and cheese, these cookies, these cookies, and my shrimp gyozas because I run through those 
every single time that I try it, it feels like the first time eating it because they're so good. So that's it for my Trader Joe's haul. I'm about to figure out what I'm going to eat. But before I do that, I have to finish uploading my video for Wednesday that you guys would have seen already. So, all right. Let me see. Can I rest you guys here? Braid stush hair. I actually need to take these out because they look horrible. But I wanted to update you guys on some of the stuff that I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. When I tell you guys that that butter chicken slap, highly recommend. Definitely will be repurchasing. It was, it tasted pretty authentic, I'm sure. I don't know. It says that they have an authentic Indian recipe. I don't know whose grandmother helped them create that recipe, but it was actually really good. Butternut squash mac and cheese was also really good. I had that for lunch today, and boy, I will also be repurchasing that. And these windmill cookies, these almond windmill cookies, highly recommend. Literally all three of these things, I highly recommend. Like, I will be repurchasing all three of these things. Like, these cookies, I brought them to work. I had some of my coworkers try them and they were like they slap. Like one of my coworkers was looking for the link to um Instacart them or whatever. But these are so good. They have that almond flavor, but they're not overly sweet either. So I really enjoy that. And they have little almond pieces sprinkled on top. They just sound so good. I can't believe I've been sleeping on Trader Joe's desserts. Like these are bomb. Also, the I the eye from my crab is sticking out. <laughs> I also got two packages today. This one is from Desi. I've never ordered anything from Desi. Don't kill me, but I actually don't even watch her YouTube channel. <laughs> I like when her first pair of sunglasses launched. I'm in this influencer YouTuber chat on Instagram. And... The girls in the chat were, were basically letting everyone know which glasses they were getting. And I liked all the glasses, but at that time, I just was like, I don't need any. I didn't buy anything. But then Desi dropped uh, her second round of shades, and I actually picked something up because these were, like, too hard to pass up on. So, I opened the package. I haven't tried the shades on or opened it as yet. But this is what the box looks like. Really pretty. So, yeah, it's really, really pretty. Maybe I'll start watching her YouTube channel. I don't know. Came with this little pamphlet as well. Another collection for you, giving you the moment, the staple for fall. I hope this collection is exactly that for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting Desi, and I can't wait to see your favorite pair on you. She crossed something out there, so I was like, wait, what? Okay. And I love that it comes in a little zip baggy. And I ordered the Backtrack Sapphire shades honey faded shades that's what it looks like details love that mm. let's try these on these are the only ones that i got and you do get a duster bag as well this is really good quality love that let's see let's see let's see what's it gonna be <laughs> baby these are cute why were you done these are super cute it's giving boss it's giving confident it's giving i walk in my own lane it's giving everything that it needs to give i really like these i love that the frames are kind of tinted oh the detailing is really nice on here look at this can you see that? It says backtrack. What? Okay, my camera doesn't want to zoom in. Never mind. JK. And then logos on the other side. Really good quality. Don't feel cheap. Not super heavy, but not light either. I like these. Okay. I might have to pick up something else. I did shop these on Instagram. If you guys own any shades by Desi? comment down below and let me know and let me know if i should start watching desi don't come for me in the comments because i said i never watched it before there are a lot of amazing youtubers and girl i barely got time to watch my own friends sometimes life but let me know if i should check her channel out these are hella cute though i will be keeping the box sometimes i hate when i get boxes that i want to keep because it's like it takes up more space but i really can appreciate the boxing Especially when it's time to travel with these things. But I love these. These are cute. And I also got something from LYS from their new highlighter collection. I got the Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. That's what she looks like. 
now i'll go ahead and leave my lys code up on the screen if you guys would like to shop anything from lys i'll also go ahead and leave my full face of lys the beauty video up above because i truly love the brand and everything that they put out so they just put out a new eye highlighter they have three different ones but i got the color genuine which is the rose gold highlighter their packaging is always everything for me always everything it's mirrored it's rose gold and it's just minimalistic it's beautiful Whew, baby it's not doing what it needs to do on camera i promise you but it's really pretty wow i can't wait to use that should i swatch it i don't want to swatch it i want to like truly be shocked whenever i apply it you're just gonna have to stay tuned you'll probably catch me using this in my next makeup video so yeah that's all i got that's all i came on here to show you i'm gonna go eat my cookies i low-key have some stuff that i need to do so i'm probably gonna do that too and yeah i did work today so that's why you didn't really see me at all today and i actually have stuff to do now so i'm about to hop out of here so i'm about to get out of here again so if anything i'll catch you tomorrow hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys don't mind my little twist at the back listen um actually let me position myself this way that's better so today is october 1st happy birthday to my mom happy birthday ma if you're watching um she is in london right now so you guys won't see her but definitely wish her a happy birthday down below she went to visit my grandma but i just came outside not so came from outside not too long ago i got two packages when i got back home so i'm going to open those with you and i low-key want to do my hair well not low-key i am doing my hair it's not even low-key anymore high-key need to do my hair you guys already saw my braids i was wearing my headband wig and my mom just sloppily threw these chunky braids in because i had to go to work like 15 minutes before and i was like girl i need some braids so i'm going to wash them and most likely put them in two space buns put my hair in two space buns so i don't know if i'm going to film the whole process but um first let me show you guys what i just got in the mail let me go downstairs let's head to the kitchen because i also have those chicken samosas from trader joe's in the air fryer and i might make a salad i don't know just for a quick little lunch hey fro so i went ahead and picked out my hair or took my hair out of the braids before coming downstairs fro is definitely throwing it's dirty but don't watch that i don't even know how long i've had these in here for these are the chicken and vegetable samosas i'm assuming i don't need sauce for these these are they they're very hot so i'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit first package is from mulberry and grand in my last vlog where i went to the san Gennaro fest i stopped in and i picked up two pins if you haven't checked out my last vlog be sure to check it out it says your day just got a whole lot better i hope so okay let's see what's in here i got two items oh a handwritten note we love that thank you so much for your order with us we greatly appreciate the support and we hope that you love it tag and post thanks you're the best the knees the bees knees the cats meow simply wonderful this is so sweet i love a handwritten note and they have three different location so i wasn't really expecting a handwritten note but they also sent me something free i think it's a cute little bracelet love the cute little jewelry bags jewelry pouches first thing i got oh they sent me the silver ones but i don't mind first thing that i got were these earrings you see the sign for female that's what that is i thought i ordered silver but i'll take the i thought i ordered gold but i'll take the silver and the second thing that i ordered also came in a little baggie i ordered this bracelet i saw it in the store and i wasn't really like in love with the price in the store but then i went on the website and i realized they were having a sale so i ordered it online it is this rose quartz bracelet i think it's so cute i just think this would look so cute on my wrist with like my watch or just some more arm candy really pretty i'm keeping that on definitely keeping that on really pretty thank you okay and i'm definitely keeping these i love these little jewelry pouches next thing that i got is in this box i really don't know what this is because i've ordered a lot of things within the last few weeks so your girl don't know but hey bro let's see oh it's from super Glue. We love a super goop package. Super goop sent over their super sunscreen. This is their daily moisturizer. 
they also sent me a glowy stick which is one that they repackaged i have mine upstairs and it's about to run out so i'm happy they sent over a new one and they also sent over a daily dose this it, you should already know how i feel about this if you've been here because i rave and rave and rave and rave and rave about this product it's vitamin c with spf 40 spf 40 as a matter of fact so got this this has spf 40 and this one has spf 50 whale sunscreen period thank you super group for the goodies so i mentioned that i came from outside not too long ago i had to run an errand for my mom being that she's not in the united states but on my way back i stopped into my local drugstore and i picked up these two liners one purple one blue voltage blue on this side and electric purple on this side both from wet and wild I actually really like their black liners i mentioned them in my fall essentials video but i picked up these two blue ones well these two different colors because we're officially in the holiday season so at sephora we usually have a calendar that we try to follow where we try to do something that looks inspired by the season so all october we have a whole list of things i'm not gonna do every single day honestly i don't have time for that whenever i can i will and try to get creative with my makeup looks so i got these two liners for that purpose and i also went ahead and got my eco styler gel i've been trying out a lot of new gels and i enjoy them but nothing holds like this eco styler it may be the alcohol gel i don't know but i love the eco styler gel and being that i'm going to put my hair in two space buns i need some gel to really hold it down hmm alcohol 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 i don't know someone told me there's alcohol in this Ooh. so yeah i picked up one of these as well my favorite is the olive oil my hair loves olive oil and avocado oil so i got this too but let me wash my hands and try this samosa okay let's give it a try okay that's nice it's hot <laughs> one thing about me i have to have my food extremely hot i can't do lukewarm it has to be piping i gotta be like oh, <laughs> when eating it i do wish it came with some sort of sauce but i'm queen of making my own sauces so i probably will make something to eat these with but they are really good very flavorful and you don't they didn't skimp out on the chicken at all i don't really see any vegetables in here but they did not skimp out on the chicken oh there's an onion but these are good i definitely repurchased i'm gonna save some in the freezer for my mom when she gets back so she could try them the next thing that i have to do is post a pair of my tims on my depop shop i added like four different things to my depop shop this morning i didn't record it honestly i totally forgot about that to turn on the camera but i did some new things but i still have to add these pair of tims to my depop shop probably gonna add them on there for like 35 dollars or so because they're worn but i know some people might you know want a worn pair they're not new yorkers so they don't care for a fresh clean crisp pair of tims so i'm gonna do that if you haven't already checked out my depop shop definitely check it out i have some cute stuff on there you never know you may like something so check it out i'll leave it linked down below and i'll also put something up on the screen so you can see what it looks like so yeah i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna wash my hair so in between me deep conditioning my hair i'll most likely pop in and update you possibly but i'll i'm also going to try to edit just the clips that i just filmed once getting home because everything else is already edited for this video so i'm going to hope for eight o'clock because it's currently 5 15 so brb phone all right time is catching up on me and i don't like that so i already slicked my hair back into a bun i decided to do a bun because i just forgot my mom is not here so she can't actually part my hair for me into to do the space bun so a bun it is i'm going to show you what my hair looks like shortly but let me first show you the hair that i'm going to put on top of my bun just to make my bun look a little bit bigger it is this hair is coming from shake and go it is the free tress braid pre-fluffed hair perfect for twists locks and crochets but i just make a bun out of it i open the hair up put a rubber band inside and just make it into kind of like a ponytail and then wrap it around my hair if you would like to see an in-depth tutorial let me know because i'll film that for you just not in this video because this one needs to go up okay Before i slick my hair up i like to tie it down after they're applying the gel just to make sure it's as sleek as possible it's not fully dried as yet but by tomorrow morning when it's time for me to put the bun on the full bun on we're gonna be ready to go but this is how it looks way more sleek 
with the eco styler and once i tie it down and you know sleep on it it'll look a lot better but yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog out because i really need to go finish editing again i promise eight o'clock so i'm gonna try to make it eight or a little after eight no later than 8 30 so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave your girl a thumbs up this was a definite this was definitely a chill more relaxed vlog i didn't really do anything this week but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless don't forget to also hit that red subscribe button down below join the stitch gang share my video with a friend that you think may enjoy my content follow me on instagram follow me on instagram you know why because tomorrow i'm actually going to be doing a holiday themed look for work the theme is pumpkin so you'll be able to see my hair once it's finished, once it's complete, and you'll also be able to see the look that I create. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy October, and I'm praying that you guys are in a better spirits for the month of October. I know Mercury Retrograde is occurring, but I pray that you guys have a decent month. Let's make it a good one, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye.